equal charges repel each other. I've shown that the demonstration with the balloons. Here we have an instrument which is called the Van de Graaff. It's named after Professor Van de Graaff who invented it. He was an MIT professor. And this instrument, which I will not discuss in any detail now, but you will understand it later on in the course. I'll tell you all about it later. This, think of this instrument as a super amber rod. And although we don't know yet what voltage is, I mentioned already the 20,000 volts between Simon and me, in this instrument you have to think in terms of several hundred thousand volts. So this instrument is not without danger. But that of course makes it more exciting to work with it. <laughs> so it's a super amber rod. And what I will do first now is to put some confetti on top. And when we turn on the Van de Graaff, the confetti may at first go to the charge dome. It is already on top of it. And when it picks up some of the charge, it will then spread out because it, it will repel. And so let's get some, some light on there, which will make it a little bit better to see. Mm. Let me put some of this on top. It's just regular confetti, pieces of paper. All right, now all I have to remember is how to start the Most of the action has already occurred. I will put a little bit more on. <laughs> if you see sparks, don't worry yet. Some more on. Ooh. Boy, nothing left for the second class. <laughs> <laughs> Make it perhaps a little darker. Ah, that's too dark. Okay, we'll try it once more, I'll give it a zap. So look at the confetti on top. And I think it's quite convincing. Some of the confetti will stay there. Well, that's for reasons that it's not a good conductor. And so it gets first sucked in, and if it doesn't get charge of the Van de Graaff, then it will not spread out. 